Hello, welcome to Linda Blake's Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this is just going to be a collective reading or for whoever it's meant to be for. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell so you can get notified of when I upload. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I hope you guys are doing okay. So, um, I channeled this song. <laughs> it's by Queen Herbie. Song name is called Self Aware. So, I feel like you guys are starting to become self aware about who you are and the people around you. The song, <laughs> I actually love this song. This song's funny. Okay. <clears throat> So the song goes, I'm amazing, bitch. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Come on. I'm amazing, bitch. And you know it. I don't have to say shit because I show it. You said I think I'm all that. Well, you thought right. That explains why you dream about me last night. I'm amazing, bitch. You. Okay. So anyways, go listen to the song. I also feel like, because like in the beginning of the song, like in the music video, it says something about the year 2020 so i feel like there's somebody here that could have been doubting you since 2020 or maybe you broke up with somebody in the year 2020 and maybe where you were in your life back then you could be like maybe your life has like expanded since then or there was goals that you had back in 2020 that somebody could have been doubting and now like in this year 2023 like it's manifested or I don't know, something like that is significant for you. Or you, like, found someone that, like, truly is your match. And someone could have been telling you, like, you're never going to find nobody better than them. Or some dumb shit. Okay, listen, this is this is what I'm getting here. Okay? Or you graduated school or college and someone was doubting that you were going to finish. Or you lost amount, a certain amount of weight. Someone was saying that you was never going to lose or something. Something like that is going on. I'm also getting, like, there's somebody here that is dreaming about you. Okay? Um... I feel like there could be people who are dreaming about you. These are people that could be missing you. I also feel like these are people that like, oh, I also feel like there's people that are dreaming about you, but it's like in a negative sense. So like they could be having dreams about you and it's like low key a nightmare. And I feel like it's because these people, like their subconscious, it's like they don't, they're not realizing like these people like, they could have like a uh, resentment built up about you or they could have like um, jealousy, but they don't really like realize that's what it is. That's for some of you. That's not for all y'all, but I'm just saying something like that is happening. Um, or someone could be trying to like get inside your dreams. I'm also getting you guys could be getting a lot of lucid dreams right now. Like, some of you could be dreaming wild. I don't think it's, like, scary. I, I don't think they're nightmares. I think they're just very lucid. Um, okay. I'm getting something, something about, like, flying in your dreams could be significant. Um, oh, speaking of which. Okay, since I have hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to choose one lucky person, okay? Um, for a free reading or a free Reiki session, whatever you'd like. Um, I would like you guys, if you are interested in participating in this, please down below in the comments write, I am amazing and they know it. I'm gonna pick at random, okay? And if I've already given you free reading, you, you know who you are given a lot of y'all free readings if i've already given you a free reading you cannot participate i want i want things to be fair okay um what else yeah and then once i pick you i'm gonna write in the comments like you're the winner and then i would like you to email me okay so let's see, let's see. So I want to say thank you guys. Really, truly, thank you. Um, 
That's right. So right now you guys could be experiencing some sort of DNA upgrades. So for instance, you could be waking up and your body feels achy, like your bones hurt, you know, but you're not like up in age. It's not like you have arthritis or anything. It's like an upgrade. There's something going on with your, like your body physically or something like you, something's going on. Okay. Um, but I feel like it's good. Like it's for your benefit. Somebody here could be from Ontario, Canada. Um, I also got something about, okay, I, I've been seeing a lot of American flags, okay? And I've gotten, I, I have, there was, in the past, I've seen, I know when this, I know what this means, basically. So when I keep seeing American flags, this means that whoever I'm talking to, you are, you're being freed of something, okay? I feel like, well, you also could be American, but I'm, let me just get, gosh dang it, Linda. You can be free of something, okay? My ADD is on point. Like, let me give me a gas name crystal real quick. Okay. Calm my ass down. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys can be freeing yourself from something. I feel like whoever I'm talking to, I feel like you are learning to free yourself from other people's opinions of you. All right? I also feel like you could be stepping into unconditional acceptance of yourself as well mm. um your hand could be itching some of you are about to get some something's coming to you something tangible this could be finances this could be the love of your life this could be a new job this could be a new apartment this could be something i don't know what this is this is whatever you've been trying to manifest something's coming through for you okay um Somebody here could be Hispanic or could be of Hispanic descent. This could be you or someone you're dealing with. Someone's last name could be Mendoza. That's for someone specific, I feel. Somebody's first, middle, or last name could start with an N, an A, a D, an E, a J, and a B. A P and an I. You guys could be seeing a lot of red hawks and eagles. Okay, listen, somebody here could be, uh, this, this is for somebody. There's someone here who was either like their past life, they were, living in the 1920s something about that time era the 1920s something about the american dream listen i don't know what this is it doesn't have to be about america but that is really what i'm getting something about the 1920s listen i know this ain't for me <laughs> i would not want to go back to 1920s but there's something about the 1920s is significant for someone here. I don't know. Maybe you have dreams about living in that time period. Or when you meditate, you you think of that or it takes you there. Something like that is significant. Something about the 1920s is significant for somebody. Or someone's great grandparent is from the 1920s or I don't fucking know. Okay, angel number 717, you guys could be seeing, you could be seeing 777, 711. Um, you guys could be seeing 888, 999, or 000. Ew, I shouldn't have done that. 000, okay? Um, let's look this up. Look at this angel number, zero, zero, zero. You guys are literally going to start off fresh is what I feel like. Yeah, we have your angels are here to guide you. Maybe you could be feeling scared about some sort of new beginning here. It says the appearance of zero, zero, zero in your life brings encouragement with the knowledge that your angel, your angel guides or higher power is with you. 
watching over you and loving you. They are ready to connect with you and work in your life, bringing you to a greater realization of the part you have to play in this cosmic story. Stay strong and have faith in the talents and gifts that you have been given. The challenges you face will pass. You are one with God and he loves you. Whoever I'm talking to, this is for you. It says, connect with your spiritual guides through meditation and prayer. Affirm that manifestation the universe loves for you. Okay, so just affirm it. Affirm that the universe loves you, okay? And your manifest your manifestations are coming through because they is. And we have weigh your options carefully. So I feel like there's somebody here that might need... Someone's going to put you in a situation where you're going to have to make a decision or choose between them and something else. That's what I feel like. You need to choose wisely, okay? Because it's like you're at this... You're at a pinnacle point in your, on your path where... Um, you already have an idea of like what you are, who you are, where you're going, da 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 da. And someone someone doesn't want you to be fucking free. Someone doesn't like all the freedom you got. Something like that is significant. We could get in that. Something about eggs. Someone could be eating eggs. Something about eggs. Or maybe you need to do an egg cleanse. I don't know. Something about Easter, possibly. Fertility. You guys could be very fertile right now. You need to be careful. Uh, with having sexy time with someone because someone might want to lock you down or slow you down or delay you from having freedom by putting a baby inside your inside of you <laughs> okay <laughs> that's another thing i'm getting child 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 <sighs> let's figure out what's going on I'm also getting, like, somebody, this could have been someone from your past that, like, I don't know, they didn't think you was going to be nothing or didn't think that you were going to do anything with your life. And now they, they're looking you up, like, on your social media handles or asking around about you. And somebody's realizing that you amazing, bitch. Yeah, look, we got adversity. Somebody didn't realize, somebody didn't think that you were going to overcome some sort of adversity that you were facing at the time when you knew them. This could have been back in 2020. God damn. Okay, hold on. Let me turn this down. <laughs> Maybe somebody was doubting that. Like, they're like, oh, that person's just always going to be in the gutter. This person's always going to be down and out. Or this person is never going to get their shit together. Something like that is significant. Sorry, Boba. <laughs> okay. I feel like there's someone here that wants to express their love to you. Okay, they want to come in and they want to make the effort now. But I feel like this is someone that breadcrumbed you in the past or strung you along. Okay, because they were trying to um, dangle you as a second option. Okay, and I feel like they're doing this because they know that you're calling in your soulmate. Whatever vibration you're in right now, like, damn, yeah, you're manifesting new love here. And whatever this new love is going to, it's definitely going to bring some sort of passion. Okay, um, between you guys, or it's going to be a very passionate strong connection i feel like whoever you get with when it comes to this person you're the sexy time is gonna be wild like good wild okay um you need to keep an open mind though with this person this new love okay because we have this song this song what the hell is going on something about a song is significant maybe some of you are like listening to a certain song to like bring in uh one of your the the love that you want or something that's for some of you. I'm also getting like, it's it's a good, this is a good idea for you guys to use. If you're trying to manifest like certain things into your life, singing it, singing a song that, that resonates with what you're trying to bring in will help you manifest it. Okay. That's for someone. Okay. We have keep an open mind. It says your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So your soulmate or whoever this new love is, they're not going to be the, the type that you usually go after or that you usually date, okay? That's probably a good thing, but at the same time, maybe, I don't know. I know I have a type. <laughs> I need to stop. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? Thank you. Okay, we have Crown Chakra here. So something about your Crown Chakra. 
going back to the um dna upgrades okay so you guys could be noticing like you could be experiencing some sort of headaches or um like tingling at your little head little ting ting um <laughs> or uh you could be experiencing a lot of like a, a lot of rapid downloads okay i feel like the reason this is happening is because somebody in the recent past was trying to block your crown chakra or or cloud it or something so that you couldn't receive downloads i feel like that block is lifting and you are like shit's gonna happen for you i feel like some of you are also gonna probably get some newfound uh, spiritual gifts or abilities um that you did not have before or that or gifts that were um you knew that were there but they were like kind of you could like tap into them at a certain level and i feel like with this dna upgrade it's going to enhance or increase um i'm also getting like someone finds it a challenge that uh you don't want anything to do with them as well so i feel like that's another motive for why someone could have been trying to um block the communication that you get from the divine because they don't want you to know that they're a snake coming in being weird or they don't want you to remember um the fucked up things that they did to you or the adversity they put you through that's for some of y'all okay we have solar plexus chakra okay your confidence you could be um feeling yourself right now and there's someone here that wants to ask for some form of forgiveness Somebody's sad. They want forgiveness from you, okay? Somebody's um somebody's name's Vanessa or Veronica. Vivian. Somebody's name starts with a V. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What's going on here? What is going on here? Jesus. Somebody wants to talk to you. I also feel like someone finds something incredibly frustrating. So, I don't know. Maybe somebody was trying um, really hard to, like, make sure you you weren't free from them. Tell me more. Child, listen. <clears throat> Somebody wants to come in and repeat a cycle with you. We got car accident here with this adversity card. Child, listen. Someone's gonna. Somebody might come in and tell you that they. They might come in with some sort of sob story and say they got into some sort of fake car accident. Don't believe it. Ooh, look. We got trust your gut. You need to trust your gut. Some more spirit. Yeah, this could be someone that you're not really talking to. I'm also getting like with this crown chakra, this is clarifying the, the crown chakra, these cards. So there's somebody here, like they could have been even under a love spell here, you or someone here, someone you know, your ex, um, I don't know, this new person that you might meet, I don't know, somebody here was under a love spell and it's broken now and someone's deciding to, Jesus, someone's deciding to move on from somebody because of it. All right, maybe somebody put a love spill on your ass and it broke and now you're like, I'm fucking out of here. Yeah, whoever this person is, they're toxic as fuck. This is someone who lies a lot. This is a fucking liar. I'm also, you're, I also am getting that like, you're gonna find out more lies that this person didn't tell you or this person's gonna come in with, with more lies to try to like, win you back. You need to trust your gut. Yeah. If, you're, if your intuition is telling you that you need to move on from someone, okay, no, you're not crazy. Yes, what you're getting is real. Okay? I'm also getting like, you need to pay, you, you are now paying attention to the red flags. Okay, you could be second guessing yourself like, oh, is that real? Am I just overthinking it? Am I, like, being too harsh or critical on this person? No, you're not. It's real, okay? If this person, if you set boundaries and told this person, like, ah, uh, I don't like it when you do X, Y, and Z, 
da 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 it makes me feel like whatever can you stop and this person continues to cross your boundaries yeah no that's a no that's a hard no holy spirit holy angels can you tell me more i feel like you're dealing with someone or you did deal with someone who was very like emotionally manipulative and would always try to turn the tables in order for you to feel bad for them when they when you would confront them about being shitty to you yeah this person plays a lot of mind games is what i'm getting okay i'm also getting like this person could have like played could have been a player is what i'm getting here and this person was trying to play with your heart to to crush your confidence or to destroy your self-esteem in some way i feel like there's somebody here that, like i feel like this individual individual whoever this toxic person is i feel like they they feel like you're too good for them so they felt like they needed to like push it down a peg or two like this person knows that you amazing bitch okay because <laughs> you <laughs> listen this i don't know yeah yes you amazing bitch and they know it you don't have to say shit because you know it and you show it okay um let me see holy spirit holy angels what else is going on here what else is going on here i'm also getting like with this car accident card it's making me feel like somebody here could have been trying to create some sort of towers for you. Like, they were trying to, like, be the car accident. If that makes sense. This person is very insecure. So whoever this, um, person here... Who allowed the devil to be in their heart and rule them this person was really trying their best to um create adversity in your life i'm also getting if this person was trying to like bring you down or stop you from your destined path in any way by the ways of magic or word of mouth gossip whatever this person might get into a car accident for um doing that okay i'm also getting like some sort of adversity or challenge someone was trying to put in your way okay the reason you overcame it was is because of your mindset it's because you're grateful you have an attitude of gratitude tell me more spirit yeah whoever this toxic person is they they're coming in to play mind games they're trying to play on your top here they want to come in and um guilt trip you i feel like whoever you're dealing with could be someone who drinks a lot this is someone who like wallows in their own sadness you see this person in the back with a little vodka bottle all sad see how this wall is all yellow and then this wall behind this person is like a deep purpley bluish like someone's fucking depressed okay I'm also getting like somebody continuously likes when someone is in hmm. someone can there could be a couple here this is a couple somebody's in a relationship where one person is sober and the other person or one no they both do stuff but there's one person in particular that gets more turned up than the other and there's one partner that likes keeping their other partner inebriated like, it's, like, because they feel like they have a level of control if their other partner is constantly intoxicated or something, like, um, or, or it makes them look good. If the, I don't know, something like that is weird. Something like that's going on. We got vanity here. This is someone who's very, very concerned about what other people think about them. Like, this person likes to be viewed as someone who's very wise or someone who's, like, um, to be worshipped in some way. I don't fucking know. Tell me more, spirit. Someone has an ego. Somebody here has an ego here. Maybe this is what was happening to you in a relationship. Maybe you were in a relationship with someone who was, like, 
enabling your, um, if I'm talking to someone who was in, who had addictions or alcoholism, alcoholism, whatever, um, you could have been with a partner who like enabled you to drink or I don't fucking know. Who knows? I don't fucking know. Or was like always trying to push like drugs on you or trying to make you drink more. That's for some of you. Okay. Ooh, something here is going to be bittersweet. We got bittersweet. Like, it's going to be hard for you to walk away from this person, or it, or it was hard for you to walk away from this person, but you know it was something that you needed to do. Because you know staying in some form of relationship, you know you weren't being the real you, or you know it wasn't, like, resonating with you on a soul level, okay? You moved on to go find peace. Um... Some of you are about to find your soulmate. Yeah, you guys could be in this energy of joy here. There's someone here that wants your freaking forgiveness, guys. Okay. Let me see. Yeah. This could be um, a feminine energy that wants your forgiveness. A child that wants your forgiveness. Bosk. This cat. Um. Ooh, if this is child, listen. Whoever, whoever this toxic person is, they could be a family lover, business, whatever, friend, place of where it needs to go. Whoever this person is, they want your forgiveness, okay? They want to start a new beginning with you. But I feel like this person is like, someone here is, some, whoever this person is, they're kind of unpredictable is what I'm getting. Are there someone here that wants to play on your innocence? Because they don't want you to change or they don't want something to change here. Yeah, this is another... A woman here really does want your forgiveness. we got two women out here. So I could be talking to a divine feminine. There's another woman that you know or another feminine energy that wants to, wants your forgiveness. But listen, bottom of the deck, we got this card. So um, you might need to not be next to this person. I could be talking to someone who's 29. Someone's name starts with an A. Or a J. Someone's name could be AJ. Anyways, someone here wants to put you in some level of danger. Or they want to they wanna ask for forgiveness for trying to put you in some form of danger. Or trying to get wrapped up. Trying to get you wrapped up in some sort of crime or accident. Okay. Or this could be a same-sex relationship. Place where it needs to go. Maybe um, someone wants to apologize for breaking away, breaking up from you. And they want to come back in. I'm also getting though, like if you deny this person, this person might get aggressive with you. So whoever this person is, they're very insecure. They they operate out of like um this dark energy here. I don't feel like this is someone who has like healed themselves or taken the time to reflect. Yeah, somebody somebody was really hoping and wishing for you to suffer. This is sick. You could be dealing with someone who's very religious. Don't have to be. I'm also getting like this this situation, like this person trying to put challenges in your way. Like it was meant to happen because it was a test for you. And it was a test for this person to see what's in this person's heart. Like if this person was really going to allow the devil to, to rule them. And they did. So... I also feel like now this person could be in pain, okay? Because they see you um, having some sort of level of success or they know that you're listening to your intuition, okay? You definitely are 
on your destined path. You are definitely healing and someone is very upset about this. Like this is the person's worst nightmare is you healing from some toxic shit that they put you through. Okay. Someone here needs Jesus or a belief in a higher power in general. Let me just make this abundantly clear. Okay. When I talk about God, okay. Great spirit, the creator, the universe. Okay. You could call it Allah, whatever. Okay. To me, I feel like it doesn't matter because to God, all that matters is what's in your heart. Like if you're, he knows when you're referring to the creator. I hope this makes sense. Never mind. Let me shut up. Um, we have coffin and then we have mountain here. So there's ends of delays here. There's no more delays. Like the divine God is no longer allowing delays to happen. Okay. In your life. I'm also getting in order for delays to end, somebody might have to pass, someone might have to lose their life is what I feel like. Okay. I need to stop saying okay. Something about real estate is very significant for some of you. You could be a real estate agent. Um, or there's some sort of real estate that was left to you. You're going to find that out. Or someone here was trying to like bring delays to you if they knew that you were trying to like start a small business or start another business okay or to work on your body and your health um work things out with your own family like trying to keep peace in your own immediate family um trying to bring disturbance to you to your peace to you to you being able to ground yourself um somebody wanted you to feel uncomfortable okay um yeah this person does not like this somebody's name is lucia Lu lucia lucy i don't like when spirit does that <laughs> they like use my mouth and i'm like what? okay whip somebody wants to bring some drama or wants to fight you because someone's leaving them to come to you or this person that you're leaving wants to bring you some sort of drama or this person might be abusive whoever you're trying to leave someone's addicted to something here come on your spirit thank you child listen this could be a man that's leaving somebody or this is a man that you are leaving or moving on from. And this person wants to bring suffering to you. Uh, something about religion is very significant here. For somebody here, this man could be in grief or sorrow. This could be an earth sign male. Don't have to be. Something about, somebody's realizing something about their family or the people around them. Like someone is becoming self-aware about like who they chose to be in a relationship and why they've done it. Or someone's becoming self-aware about like who they love or something like that. Yeah, you're going to be getting some sort of like communication here i'm also getting like somebody's father here or parent that's in masculine energy um wants to harm you somehow i don't fucking know i don't like this i'm also getting there's a man here that's working hard to come towards you maybe there's like i don't know someone needs someone has to do something in secret i'm also getting like if you walked away from someone, I feel like right after you walked away or moved on from this person, they started experiencing a lot of bad karma. 
Like, even people in their family started experiencing bad karma. There could have been someone in their family that, like, passed away after you disconnected from this person. I feel like this is because whoever this person is, this person um, put you through hell. And when people fuck you over, um, they, they get really bad karma. Especially when you separate yourself from them. God don't play about you. God God rolls with you. God is with you. Holy Spirit, honey, angels, can you tell me more? Listen, we got Jupiter here. This, this was a test. This was a learning and teaching moment. Okay? Somebody here learned something from this relationship or this situation. And someone else taught someone a lesson. Whoever this person is, whoever that's moving on. Okay? You need to be positive about what you, the future holds for you, okay? There's going to be a lot of joy, a lot of luck coming through for you, a lot of good fortune, a lot of blessings that are being granted to you, okay? Whoever I'm talking to, you're someone who decided to move towards your north node. Yeah, you definitely are someone who's very balanced. Something about the se your seventh house is significant. This talks about partnerships, relationships. Someone might be getting married. Ciao. I don't know. You guys might, um, damn. Listen. Spirit. Where the hell is my gosh dang card? Hold on. I don't want to make this too long. I really don't. Oh, here we are. Can you tell me more? What's going on? Oh, listen. I just, I picked this up and then the sun card falls out. Yo, your ass is about to be fucking blessed and happy. You're going to feel like, you're going to feel like a brand new fucking person. Okay. You overcame something here. We got the chariot at the bottom of the deck. You could be a cancer. You could be dealing with a cancer. Place where I need to go. Tell me more. Sure. Well. You guys could be dealing with a Leo, um, a Sag, an Aries. Yeah, there was someone here that was is didn't want to have to. I can't even talk. Someone's upset because they have to like. Let me, let me reword this. There's someone here that knew that you were the one in the past, but, and they were, they were slow to offer you some level of commitment because there was other options that they had. And now this person is in regret because they know like they put you in some form of competition with people that did not compare to you. Like someone is now realizing like you're their wish fulfillment here. Like they know they know whatever that happened in the past wasn't, I don't know. I could be talking to a king, of, a king, a queen of wands. So you could be a Leo. This is a match. A Leo, Sag, or Aries, okay? Or somebody here finds you very sexy, very attractive, okay? Someone thinks that you amazing, bitch, okay? Tell me more, spirit. <laughs> Someone thinks you're all that in a bag of chips. Tell me more, spirit. Ew. Somebody could be eating, um, what's it called? Vinegar. What are those? Sh I don't, I hate these chips. What are they called? Vinegar and salt potato chips. Tell me more, spirit. No offense if you like them. I've tried my best to like them. They're not, <laughs> they do not, not for me. I need mine to have spiciness on them. Yeah, someone wants to come in and apologize to you for trying to, like, bring challenges into your life and for being negative or for thinking about you negatively. Someone doesn't want to miss some sort of opportunity with you. This person's also afraid that you're going to reject them. They could be thinking about you sexually for show with this Ace of Wands here. Someone wants to rush the fuck in after sitting here looking dumb, okay? I feel like 
you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, don't have to be, or you're a Pisces. Someone here, like, ooh, somebody who wants to recover some sort of relationship. I'm getting the word legacy. Like, when somebody wants to start an official legacy with you. This man has decided that he really wants to be with you. In the past, this person could have been indecisive about this. Okay, but now this person wants something to be official here with you. Someone wants to lock someone down. Listen, I don't know if, like, this is good or bad. Okay, I really don't. Bottom of the deck, though, we got uh, eight, of, eight of Cups. So somebody here, this could I could be talking about someone who, whoever this person is that wants to come in and offer you something, this person could be in a relationship already. And whatever relationship they're in, they, they're staying there out of guilt. They're staying in that relationship because of guilt. I'm also getting this person could be discovering that they were put under some sort of love spell with this person. Maybe this love spell is breaking and they're realizing like who they who they're truly attracted to and they could be attracted to you, okay? They could be moving on from this person and coming to you. Child, listen. <laughs> oh, lordy, lordy. There's two men here. So you're going to have to choose. There's three men here. You're going to have to choose. What the fuck is going on? Either these are three men or three women in masculine energy or whatever this is. There's three people. But out of the three people, one is for you. There's someone here who's like, um, somebody here is emotional available, but they kind of are like older and stuck in their ways. And then there's another one that like has a real big ego issue and wants to act like the emperor, but they're not emotionally available and they don't have their shit together. Like this is someone, okay, so there's one person here that wants to like control you but they have lack of control and discipline in their own life someone somebody somebody knows that something's over here i'm also getting like somebody was determined to like um end something in your life or try to create some level of drama and suffering on your part this could be even your own father that's what some of you or a boss manager ex-lover place it where it needs to go Spirit. Yeah, someone here. Somebody feels like someone feels stuck and confused, is what I'm getting. Or they were in the past here. Maybe things are becoming illuminated to them now that they were keeping themselves stuck mentally maybe somebody here was like really thinking the worst ew okay so we have the sun and the moon this is like night and day maybe somebody's realizing whoever they were with it was like night and day like you you and this other person are like completely two different people i'm also getting there's like two or three different people that you're gonna have to be you're going to be presented with three different options when it comes to a potential soulmate, okay? Or partner. And there's something here to where someone is night, like they're complete opposites or something here. Someone was trying to keep something hidden. Like somebody, somebody really wanted to hide your sunlight or hide you. Or make sure you're not seen. This could be a king of pentacles that was doing this. There's Okay, there's... There's a lot of there's a lot of fucking kings out here. There's someone here that wants to have a, a long term relationship with you. What the hell is going on? Tell me more, spirit. There's someone here that's like heartbroken because they don't know how to get you back or something. They want a, a second chance with you, but I feel like this person's already under judgment for like either not making a decision. Okay. Who, whatever, how many options they are, the, there is here. There is someone that took too long to make a decision on you or to choose you. There's someone else here who chose someone else over you and now they're regretting it and they want to come back. And then there's another person that like, um, 
knows that there's no chance or something. I don't freaking know. Tell me more, spirit. Oh my gosh. I'm also getting like somebody. This is not, these are not good. You, I feel like you're going to reject someone here. And that could create a lot of drama. It could create some sort of tower moment here. Or you're going to realize... You're going to find out like how someone truly betrayed you here. Someone doesn't want you to know what they really did. Someone did something to you behind the scenes here. In order to either keep you stuck or delayed. And I feel like if you find out, like, this is going to piss you the fuck off. Like, someone was trying to bring burdens to the Queen of Cups. Someone who's very caring, loving, and compassionate. Someone uh, was thinking too quickly and did something for money. Somebody might want to come in and apologize now. This or, or offer you love. This person is down and out, though. Like, this person is under judgment. I feel like you're going to reject this person, though. It's like bittersweet. I don't... Someone is definitely self-reflecting. You guys could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo here. Um, I'm also getting like, you, whoever I'm talking to, you're definitely standing in your power at this time. Whatever it is, someone finds it sexy. At first, someone was mad about it. Now they like it. I don't know. Someone has problems. Let's get out Big Bertha and see what's going on. And then I got to wrap this up soon. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on here? When it comes to this message, Spirit, what's going on here? Okay, we got application approved. Okay, so if you filled out an application or trying to get a job, something's going to get approved here for you. We got arguments. Someone here wants to start some sort of arguments with you. Something about in the next, ooh, something about the next three days is significant for you. Okay. I feel like somebody here um, experienced some sort of spiritual awakening and maybe that's what bro that's what broke some sort of, excuse me, love spell and someone here is now becoming self-aware about what's going on in their life. Someone's realizing people's intentions that are around them. Tell me more, spirit. Someone here could be depressed or in bad health right now or trying to recover from something here. Maybe someone's trying to recover from some sort of um, health condition or, I don't know, ailment. Something here. Tell me more, Spirit. What's going on here? And then we got to wrap this up. Okay. We got moving on. You're moving on and you're leveling up here, okay? Your level up, your spiritual upgrade just got approved. Whatever you've been manifesting, it just got approved by the universe. So if you're worried about whatever you're going through right now, you don't need to be, okay? Tell me more, spirit. We got I am woman. Okay. Someone's upset here because you're a woman and you're in your power. Or that you're a woman and you're successful. There's a man here that's really insecure about some shit. Like somebody needs to really like. Someone's ego needs to be. Um, I don't want to say eliminated. Because everyone needs an ego. But it's like. Someone needs their ego to be checked here. We got pride is in your way. So somebody here could be very prideful. Um, maybe this person felt a type of way. Like being around you. Um, maybe you have more than this person, okay? And this person does not feel secure in themselves. Or maybe you're more confident than this person. And this, this does something to someone's ego, okay? Or you call out this person's bullshit when they're being weird or, um, this person doesn't like that either. Like, this is someone that has a hard time taking accountability for what they do. What the hell is going on? We got violent crime. Somebody, you, you're going to find out that someone here was trying to create some sort of crime or put you in some sort of crime or do something violent to you. This is someone who's very petty. Someone's petty because you're moving on and you're moving, your life's moving up. Okay. Somebody could have like made, put in false reports 
on you so that you could get called by the cops or get, I don't know why I'm getting like raided from the cops. Someone could have put something in your yard or you could be experiencing people putting something in your yard. We have check your backyard. Something about like, somebody could be doing something. I don't know. Trying to hex you by putting shit in your yard. Like weird things. I'm not talking about like soda cans or like normal like public trash. I'm talking about like weird shit. Like pieces of hair or like twigs wrapped up in twine or some shit like that. Broken like eggshells or something tell me more spirit somebody's first uh, first middle or last name starts with an e this could be your yours or theirs ew look at this we got e and x so this could be somebody's ex that we talking about here who has pride in their way or that was planning on or plotting to put you in some sort of violent crime or your violent ex was had a violent crime done to them and they maybe they this person Maybe this person thought it was you. I don't fucking know. We got paid someone to watch you. Someone definitely paid someone to watch you. Or somebody's first, middle, or last name starts with an X. Tell me more, Spirit. What the heck is going on? We got 1212. You could be seeing 1212 a lot. Something here is this cycle of someone being petty to you and thinking they could do whatever they want to you. It's over. We have someone blocked. Someone you blocked will try to reach out to you. Okay. This person wants to come in with some form of argument. We got someone is getting sued. <sighs> Listen. We got to watch your food and drinks around this person. Because someone here is plotting, plotting to do something weird with you. Someone here could have gotten arrested or is going to get arrested. Okay. Something about your siblings could be involved in this situation. Where I'm whoever I'm talking to, you are a rising phoenix. And you came back with a fucking vengeance that they didn't expect. Someone did not expect this. The, the fact that you keep going and you're resilient and whatever obstacles and adversity this person tries to put you through, okay? This could be an ex. This could be a family member. This could be, I don't know, a business, an organization, whatever this is. These people are having arguments now. People are having arguments and bringing up your name. We have in loveless relationships. So someone here is in a loveless relationship. They want to leave it. They probably want to come towards you. I don't know if you're going to accept them or not. I feel like someone here could be afraid that you're going to reject them. You might just do it. I don't know. Whoever I'm talking to, you could be a psychic. Maybe you already know that this person's coming in. Um, we have Belle. You could be Belle. Like a Belle-like character. Like a Beauty of the Beast. So you're like someone who's like... Um, you're not a basic bitch. You're like different, okay? You could be someone who's very intelligent. Um, you could be someone who's very sweet, very kind. But you also could be having, like, you have a level of intellect there. Someone here, I'm also getting either a psychic is going to get arrested or someone was trying to arrest a psychic if you're a psychic, okay? That was their plan. Maybe someone here was trying to pin you in, like, trying to, uh, what's it called? Pin you for some sort of violent crime that was happening or happened. Weirdos. Yeah, we got listen, Linda. Pay attention to your intuition at this time. It says you are not responsible for how others feel about you. You are freeing yourself from other people's opinions. You need to protect your energy at this time. It is very important. Okay? Your peace is your power. You're an earth angel. Whoever the fuck I'm talking to, you are a freaking earth angel. And there's someone here that realizes this. Someone could be trying to poison your ass. I'm also getting like somebody now knows that you are an earth angel because maybe they did try to poison you. Maybe someone did try to do something to your food or your drinks and you still live in. Someone's just like, what the fuck? Um, I'm also getting with this three days card. It's kind of reminding me of like when Lazarus like rose from the dead after three days someone like sees you as like um supernatural we got family incest that's for some of you not all you maybe some of you exposed something like that and now somebody mad we got sell out someone here sold out someone sold their soul here you're gonna find this out or you're gonna find out what someone did for money they do anything for clout they do anything for clout we have water sign. This could have been a water sign or I'm talking to a water sign here. Okay. Someone here could have an abandonment issues. 
this person that's trying to gun for you. Okay, or this person, let me reword that. Someone could have a unhealed abandonment issues. We have insurance fraud. Something about insurance fraud is going to be revealed in the next three days. Okay, um, this could be involving a Libra or I'm talking to a Libra. Whatever this is, justice is here for you. Things are about to balance out. Okay, something about a secret bank account could be significant for some of y'all. And we have what's bad is good and what's good is bad. So someone here could have been saying like, you are someone to be feared or someone who is dangerous to themselves or to others in order to like get you into some sort of crime or get you locked up for something, possibly because you have spiritual gifts or abilities or because you're speaking the truth on um, somebody doing something dumb, doing something wrong, and they don't like it. So you could be getting harassed and all that jazz because somebody here lied. I'm also getting like whoever this person who was or people who were involved in this situation, these people were upset because you left them behind or that you went no contact with them. It's like, it's almost like this person's like, well, if you're not going to hang out with me or be my friend or work for my company or be my lover, then you got to go. Some weird, that's how, that's, that goes to show you how fucking controlling this person is. Like, ew. Tell me more, spirit. You can find out that someone here has like some form of side chick. Damn. Yeah, the guilt card. Maybe you guys are feeling guilty about something here. Or someone, someone feels guilty for leaving you out in the cold in the past and not offering you something. We have Craigslist, M-word. Spirit wants you to know that you passed the test, whatever this is. You passed the test here when it comes to this situation. It says we are born to help people, and if we can't help them or someone, let's at least not hurt them. Whoever this person is, they they this is someone that can't be helped. Or this is someone you have helped before, but like they just I don't know. This, is, this person could be a lost cause. We have bad karma. Someone here is getting some sort of bad karma. Somebody's first, middle, or last name could start with a B. Fraud is out here twice. You're going to find out someone here was presenting themselves to be one way and they're really the other. Or you're going to find out like about like some real actual criminal fraud here in your family. Okay? Or at your workplace. Maybe someone was trying to pin fraud on you. We got spiritual awakening out here twice. Someone here is fucking jealous of you. And this person did something to you. They're getting bad karma right now. Someone here lied about a commitment or lied about... Um, either lied about com being committed to you. Or committed to... Um, someone else. Tell me more, Spirit. I gotta wrap this up. Um, Hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm almost there. Where is it? Oh, duh, they're right in front of me. It was just my imagination running away with me. Just my imagination. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is going on here? Someone's doing something secretively or something low-key right here. Or maybe you're making your moves in silence here. Um, maybe someone doesn't like this. Maybe somebody like wants you to tell them everything that you got going on in your life. But you're kind of like, maybe you felt guilty about like doing this to this person or these people. But you're now realizing like, sorry, not sorry. It's my life. Fuck you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? That's for some of you, not all y'all. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, someone now feels like they're they made the wrong choice and they're missing out. Okay, I'm also getting like someone here wants to pressure you into a relationship with them. So just be uh, mindful of that. Yeah, this is whoever this person is. This is someone that like has an unhealthy um affection to you. Do, 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 do. 
Da, 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 da. <laughs> what was that Eminem song? Go something at my window and I can't see it all. Da, 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 da. My picture on the wall. Mm -hmm. Someone could even have like your picture on their wall. Someone's weird. Tell me more, spirit. We got on fleek. Someone feels like you're perfect or flawless or you're on point, you're on target. Maybe somebody, I don't know, somebody feels like they need you or they feel like when they were with you, their life was on target and now that they're, they felt complete with you. Somebody here took your love for granted or your friendship for granted or your, your um, commitment to a job for granted, something like that. We have... All about themselves, selfish traits, pride, flashy, arrogant, insincere, boasting. So there's someone here that's going to like do this. Or someone was like this with you in the past. This is someone who gets turned a lot. Okay, this person's really thirsty for your um, attention. This person's very needy. So, okay, this is what I'm getting. Night and day. You're someone here who's, like, not giving a fuck about other people's opinions of you, what you're doing, who you are, what you wear, la, 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 la. And there's someone else here who cares about that. Like, someone really does, like, they dress for, like, society. I know that sounds weird, but, like, the, like, the reason they would purchase a certain car is because of how others will view them. Or something like that. Like, I don't know. Something's weird. Like, someone doesn't want to be seen, like, shopping at, like, Goodwill or something. Or shopping at the 99 cent store. Like, someone... I don't know. Something like that is significant. Okay? Listen, whatever's happening here, you slaying the day, bitch. Okay? And someone's watching you do this. I'm also getting, like, someone wants you to act wild or act wildly with them or get you drunk. I'm so annoyed by this. All right, collective. How does this person feel? Ooh, look. These cards got left behind. All this person wants to do is breadcrumb you and then ghost you. So let's not. Do not waste your time with this individual. Please use your intuition, though. Damn. Someone here could feel foolish now. And ashamed about something here. And depressed because they tried you. Or because they rejected you in the past. This person could be very angry at themselves or angry at you. I'm also getting there's another person that's annoyed that they couldn't um, get get back with you or um, have some level of revenge. Okay, someone here could be afraid of the consequences or the karma that they're going to face. And, and somebody else here is amazed by what you do or what you know. Okay. Because you amazing, bitch. <laughs> okay. And they know it. I don't have to say shit. Because I show it. Tell me more spirit. Yeah, there could be a lot of people gossiping about you. Or there's someone here who's like sticking up for you. when they, when um, Or is about to stick up for you. When it comes to other people gossiping about you. I'm also getting like somebody's getting caught for like trying to break people up, two people up, or break up a family, okay? Someone's just getting karma in general. See how, like, there's two cards of a group of people talking? There's a group of people talking about you, and there's always, like, one person in this scenario that is, like, concerned. Okay. There's people in the in the inner circles of your enemies or the people that are like jealous of you or petty that see you for you. Like they there's some people here that know that some of these people are just operating out of a, a place of insecurity. Damn. Okay. Someone here was really trying to like destroy your foundation or your your legacy or whatever you got going on here, whatever you're trying to build. Someone here is going to experience some sort of miracle or someone here is going to give you a helping hand in some way or 
something like that is significant okay the divine the universe is going to orchestrate this i'm getting something about divine intervention is significant there's someone here that's going to embarrass them, themselves or they're going to say something while they're really drunk or this is what somebody wants to do to you like someone wants you to look like a fool or look, or look foolish okay especially if you're someone who like if you left an individual you moved on with your life um and your ex they could be i don't know their life could have stayed stagnant this person might want to like reconnect with you just to get you drunk or high and make you look dumb okay or to stop you from your path in general someone here is throwing a fucking tantrum and someone here was laughing at what you create or what you're passionate about or whatever you're talented your talent is okay and now this person is going to be feeling real sad about it because you are being successful or you're i don't know something like that is significant for some of y'all i need to wrap this up spirit what kind of good things can they expect what kind of good things can they expect spirit yeah somebody here wants to collaborate with you okay yeah you might someone wants to come in and partner up with you we have you need it not go through current challenges alone help is nearby negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies Bella. so please stay positive we got the moon out here twice we have the opportunity to improve your plans listen to your intuition for accurate guidance face your fears and grow stronger okay Maybe you guys are in fear of what other people think. You need to snap out of that, okay? And whatever this thing that you want to do, it's something that you love. Okay? It says it's a it's a great time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. It says working with others in a cooperative manner. Someone wants to work with you when it comes to something that you're passionate about. Wow, we have two of Raphael. This, this could turn into something like, this could be something, I keep getting this energy. It could be something like work-related and then it becomes like romantic, okay? We have your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success is as using resources wisely. Um, I'm also getting like, somebody might come in and ask you for money. I keep getting that. Like someone wants to ask you to help them out financially because they feel like they're in a bind. This could be your ex even, like. Do what you want with that. I personally, me, I I would not. That's just me. Um, let me see. Oh, what else do they need to know, Spirit? Okay, it's time for you to like go out into nature and nurture yourself with the right, with good food. Okay, fresh, fresh, more fresh fruits, vegetables, water. Okay, drinks that have natural electrolytes. Okay, I'm also getting something about visiting a body of water it could be beneficial beneficial for you. Tell me more, Spirit. We have Radiance. Listen, something about the summertime is going to be really good for you, okay? Things are going to unfold naturally for you. Just, just surrender and let things unfold naturally for you, okay? Because something about the summertime, things are going to be real good, okay? You're gonna, you're, you're going to experience a lot of forward movement, positive forward movement. Tell me more, spirit. What else do they need to hear? Okay, we have let go. It says release. The desire to control this situation and leave it up to God's infinite wisdom to resolve everything beautifully. Exactly. Exactly what I was just saying. Okay. We got pay attention to your dreams. Someone really could be like in your dreams. I'm also getting like um, your spirit team is trying to tell you something in your dreams. Especially if you're experiencing like lucid dreams where like you feel like you're flying or something. And you're controlling your dreams in some way. Just know um, you should write them down. There's there's a message in there somewhere. It says you are receiving divine guidance while you sleep. It says even if you don't remember your dreams, the answers are in your unconscious mind where they appear in order to help you. 
We have stay true to yourself. It says don't compromise or water down your ideas. Listen to, trust, and follow your inner voice. And we have express your inner truth. Damn. We have your creative work shines brightest when it reflects your genuine feelings and thoughts. Dang. We got editor here. It says your writing or other creative project benefits from outside help and support. So yeah, it's like somebody here wants to team up with you or something. And you, it's, it really is time for you to invest into some form of self-care right now. All right, this is this is the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. It really does benefit this channel. Um, let me get one more. What else do they need to know, Spirit? Okay, you guys can be okay. There's something about a Sagittarius man that you need to be aware of, or cautious of, or a Capricorn man is significant. This could be the person that wants to come in and um do something weird wants to drag you into the mud that's for some of you okay or if you are a capricorn or sagittarius man just know that and you're on the light side of light things will not always be this way because change is coming okay you could be the one that's going through some form of spiritual awakening okay so this is gonna be the end of your reading i love you guys until next time i love you bye